students this is miss claire and welcome one more time in our math for class we are still on chapter 17 area and perimeter so in this video you will learn lesson two it's all about area the learning objectives for this lesson are to recognize that area is measured in square units and to find the area of figures by counting squares. Okay, P4, are you ready? Come on, let's start. Okay, let's start with lesson two. It talks about area. From the previous video, you'll learn about perimeter. Perimeter is the total length around a figure. So in this video, we will focus about area of figures or polygons. So let's review first about the length and width. I have here a rectangle and let's try to find the length and width. So the length is the longer side of a rectangle. The width is the shorter side. So the length of this rectangle, let's count, we have. So remember that each square here measures one centimeter. So this is one centimeter. We have two, three, four, five, six. So the, the length of this rectangle is six centimeters and the width measures one, two, three, four, four centimeters. Okay, to get the perimeter, all we need to do is to find the total. We just add all the length. So we have two lengths, which is six, so six plus six. Then we have weight is 4, so 4 and 4. So the total, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 4, which is 16, and another 4, 20. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 20 centimeters. Now let's study about one square unit. I have here a square tile. Take a look. Each side of the square tile measures, we call it one unit. So, the amount of surface covered by this square tile is what we call one square unit. Remember, the amount of surface covered. So, we say that the area of each one square tile is one square unit. So that is what we call area, the amount of surface covered. So if we have one tile or one square, so we say that the area is one square unit. How about this one? How many square units? Let's count the number of square units in its figure. Take a look. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six squares. So the area then is six square units. For figure B, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four square units. Then figure C, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine square units. When we say six square units, four square units and nine square units, we are talking about area. So again, area is the surface, the total surface covered. I have here a four centimeter square. So it is a square that the side measures four centimeters. So we have one, two, three, four. So each side measures four centimeters this four centimeter square is made up of 16 one centimeter square so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so there are sixteen one square one centimeter squares so the area of each one 
centimeter square or one square here is one square centimeter or one cm squared. So the area of the total or the full four centimeter square then is 16 centimeter square or 16 square centimeter because there are 16 1 cm square so we we'll just count all together the total numbers of the 1 cm square and that is 16 so this is the area of our square another example so again the square centimeter children is what we call now our unit of area the unit of area depends on the measurement. You can use centimeter or meters or millimeters. The area, again, the area of the figure, this one, tells us the amount of surface covered by it. So when we say area of a figure, the number of squares covered the full figure. Another, what is the area of this rectangle? Okay, this rectangle is consist or made up of 15 1 centimeter squares. So there are 15 1 cm squares. So the area of this square or rectangle then is 15 square centimeters or we will say 15 square centimeter so this is the area of this rectangle okay how about this figure this figure is letter H can you find the area of this figure so this figure is made up of 17 1 cm squares so what is the area of this figure yes so this figure is 17 square centimeters so this is the area of this figure okay i have here a square a green square and a blue rectangle find their areas do these figures have the same area or the square is greater has a bigger area than the blue rectangle or maybe the blue rectangle has a greater area than the, green, than the green square. Okay, children, try to measure them and you can share your answers during our Zoom meeting. Okay, I have here a square, but this square measures one meter. So this is a one meter square. Each side measures one meter. So, the amount of surface covered by this square is 1 square meter. As I mentioned earlier that the area of a square, it could be meter, it could be centimeter, or you can have kilometer, or you can have millimeter. So, we say that the area of this square is 1 square meter or 1 meter squared. So this one we will read meter squared. So I have here a figure, take a look. Remember that one square here measures one meter. So can you find the area of this figure? Okay, so this figure children is made up of 25 one meter squares. Let's count if there are 25 one meter squares one two three four five so this is five so this is also five so ten another five fifteen another five twenty so we have twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four and twenty five correct so there are twenty five one meter squares so its area then is twenty five square meter okay i have here a number four can you find the area of this number how many one m or one meter squares 
So to find the area, you need to count first how many one meter squares, and after that you can find the area of this figure or number. How about this figure, children? Try also to find the area by counting first how many one centimeter squares. The, if you are done counting the numbers of one centimeter squares, then it's your time to get the area of this figure. Okay, before that's all about lesson two area. Again, area is the amount of surface covered by a figure or shape or polygons. So all you need to do is to find the number of squares. The unit of area depends on the unit of measurement that we are going to use. We can use the square centimeters. It means to say that one side of the square measure one centimeter. You can also use square meter. It means that the one side of the square measures one meter. You can also use a square millimeter or square kilometer. Okay, I hope that you learned a lot in this video. Thank you for watching before and always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and have a great day.